many of us tend to put our wallets in our back pockets and I've been told that that can cause misalignment, it can cause the spine to go, you know, off. A absolutely. Okay. So that's, that, that's, that's another practice that we should try to, try to avoid. Desist from, Desist yes, from. absolutely. Uh, uh, th that comes from the fact that the, the spine uh, connects to what we call the hip bones or the ilium and the tailbone. Mm -hmm. Now, the ilium, the tailbone, the ilium and the tailbone, these construct what we call the pelvis. And as the pelvis is, it's where our buttocks are. This is the waist. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is very flexible so we can sit down or stand up. It is also the base of the spine. So if there's any kind of tilting, then obviously the spine will not be balanced. Okay. Putting your wallet... I know Dr. Ajibadi's wallet is very fat, so <laughs> if he puts his very fat wallet here and then sits on it, then he's going to create an imbalance, mm. an imbalance me. of the base of the spine. Mm -hmm. And this, over a period of time, can lead to this subluxation that we have spoken about in the last segment. And real quick, what's, what's a subluxation? What's a this? subluxation is when one of the vertebra is out of its normal alignment. Uh -huh. It can either be out of alignment to the, to the front or to the back, to the side. Any misalignment of the spine that is not a dislocation is known as a subluxation. Uh -huh.